tough, uh, tough enough couple of years down here, you know, because we've set, set such high standards in the past in Cork that it was just mighty to give something back to the fans, really. It's an awesome Kilkenny team, you know, they're unbelievable and, and they've just what they've done in hurling is, is just broken all the records and they've been amazing. And I think that Cork Kilkenny rivalry had been lost a small bit in the last few years, you know, obviously just Cork hadn't been up to par and so we were delighted to, to just even get back in competitive terms with them in the league, you know, I think there was only a point or two in it and that maybe gave us the belief that, you know, we can be right up there with these guys and, you know, they were unlucky with the sending off like we were in the Munster final and then just to, it was elation at the end, you know, when we, when we actually crossed the line. It's great to know that we're, we're playing Cork or whoever it was going to be, but look, we, we, we couldn't control that, so we were training away, you know, um, our matches and training are very competitive at the moment. Not only is there lads trying to get into the 15, there's lads trying to get into 26, so um, look, that it didn't really affect what we were doing. You know, Cork are flying at the moment, and like ourselves, they have momentum, and you know, they're not going to be wanting Dublin to get one over on the metre. Dublin have been awesome so far, you know, they've grown from strength to strength in every game. I mean, they drew at Wexford, you know, started maybe slow and came out and improved. And then after that, you know, drew at Kilkenny and, and, you know, people wrote them off again and they jumped up again and then just were awesome in the Leinster final. So, you know, we've serious respect for, for Dublin, you know, and we know that it's going to be a massive task going into the next Sunday. I suppose it was a bit of a break, it was a bit of a, you know, um, so it was a new land for us. With with we had five weeks in a row, and then we, you know, came back down to uh, I suppose Earth after after those few weeks. Um, no, nah, it was all right though. The games have been competitive, and it seems like we've we've kept going. Look, we know from being in the past, we can't be getting ahead of ourselves, and we just focus on the next game. And I think that's why we went back to this year, and that's why we were had a bit of success so far. But uh, I think the lads want more. We haven't been consistent, you know. We've put in big performance against. Kil uh, Clare and then we, we dipped against Limerick, you know, we were very poor against Limerick and then, you know, we rose it again against Kilkenny and, you know, if we want to get any silverware in our back pocket, you know, consistency is going to be key and we're just looking now to try and maintain our intensity the same as the last day and, and ho hopefully just drive it on again. I'd love to see the love to see Crow Park full with dubs, you know, for a hurling game, it'd be uh, something people haven't ever seen, I don't think, anyway, not in my lifetime, but... Um, yeah, no, look, it would be absolutely great. We have a certain level of confidence there and um, we just want to perform in the day and hopefully that brings us brings us the prize. I don't think Cork Hurling will ever be said to be good until, you know, we get our hands on Liam again because, you know, we're probably up there in the top two teams to ever play it. So it's important that, you know, you're at least contesting the final anyway and getting there. But again, I wouldn't say that Cork Hurling is back until Liam is safely um, resting in the banks of the league again.